Hello and welcome to On The Record. My name is Mary Mullaney and this is my record collection and this is the season two finale. This week we're finishing up with MAME with music and lyrics by Jerry Herman. He is actually the first of two composers to have three musicals that ran over 1,500 consecutive performances. He's also the only composer to have had three shows running on Broadway at the same time. That was Hello Dolly, MAME, and Dear World. The book for MAME was written by Jerome Lawrence and Robert Edwin Lee and based on the 1955 novel Anti-MAME by Patrick Dennis and the 1956 play, also called Anti-MAME, by Lawrence and Lee. It follows the zany life of bohemian MAME who becomes the guardian of her nephew during the Great Depression. MAME's motto in life is, Life's a banquet and most poor sons of bitches are starving. Open a new door Traveling through a highway That's never been tried before Before you find you're a dull fellow Punching the same clock Walking the same tightrope As everyone on the block The fellow you are to be Is three-dimensional Soaking up life Down to your toes Whatever they say You're slightly unconventional just put your thumb up to your nose and show them how to dance to a new rhythm. Whistle a new song, toast with a new vintage. The fizz doesn't fizz too long. There's only one way to make the bubble stay. Simply travel a new highway, dance to a new rhythm, open a new window. If you follow your auntie Mame, I'll make this vow, my little love, that on the last day of your life, you'll be smiling the same bright smile you're smiling now, my little love. If you wake up every morning and you put aside the shutters and you promise me that these will be the first words that you Open a new window, open a new door, travel a new highway that's never been tried before, before you find your adult fellow, punching the same clock, walking the same tightrope as everyone on the block. The fellow you ought to be is three-dimensional, soaking up life down to your toes. Whenever they say you're slightly unconventional, just put your thumb up to your nose and show them how to dance to a new rhythm, whistle a new song, toast with a new vintage. The fizz doesn't fizz too long. There's only one way to make the bubble stay. Simply travel a new highway, dance to a new rhythm, open a new window. Jerry Herman was able to complete the score for MAME in only six months, and in fact, uh, Open a New Window was the first song that he wrote. He really related to the character of MAME because he had grown up with a very strong, zany mother. The original production was directed by Gene Sachs and choreographed by Anna White, and they initially offered the role of MAME to Mary Martin, who turned it down, and then Gwen Verdon, who also turned it down. They considered B. Arthur, who was the wife of Jean Sachs and future Golden Girl, but she ended up being offered the role of Vera Charles, the best friend, instead. So they were searching and searching for a mame, and it just so happened that Jerry Herman was one of the very few people who saw the nine previews of Anyone Can Whistle, and he suggested Angela Lansbury. Nobody else was really crazy about the idea, though, so he privately coached her on two of the songs and then snuck into the pit to play her audition. Those two songs were It's Today and the Torch song, If He Walked Into My Life. And finally, after even more deliberation, Angela Lansbury was cast in her first starring role on Broadway. Where's that boy with the blue?
is always my big romance. Where's that boy with you, girl? Why did I ever buy him those damn long pants? Did he need a stronger hand? Soft or was I tough? Did I give enough? Did I give too much? At the moment that he needed me, did I ever turn away? Did I be there when he called? Did he walk into my life today? His nights a little wide. Did I overstate my plan? Did I stress the man and forget the child? And there must have been a million things that my heart forgot to say. Walked into my life today. Should I blame the times I pampered him, or blame the times I bossed him? What a shame. I never really found the boy before I lost him. Were the years a little fast? Was his world a little free? Was there too much of a crowd, all too lush and loud, and not enough of me? And I'll ask myself my whole life long what went wrong along the way. Would I make the same mistakes if he walked into my life today? The show opened on May 24th, 1966 at the Winter Garden Theater, uh, soon to be home of the Music Man revival. After three years, it transferred to the Broadway Theater, and in total, it ran for five previews and 1,508 performances. It garnered eight Tony nominations and three wins for Angela Lansbury, B. Arthur, and Frankie Michaels, who played young Patrick and was the youngest person to ever win a Tony Award. Angela Lansbury did 775 of those performances, and some of her replacements included Celeste Holm, Janice Page, Jane Morgan, and Ann Miller. Now, the mame that got away for Herman was always Judy Garland, but the producers considered her a liability, so they wouldn't cast her. Finally, in 1974, there was a movie made with Lucille Ball, and she actually had Madeline Kahn fired as Gooch, the nanny who gets pregnant, probably because she was so funny. Uh, <laughs> there was also a revival in 1983 starring Angela Lansbury once again, but that only ran for 41 performances. Uh, but what performances they must have been. You came, you saw, you conquered, and absolutely nothing is the same. Your special fascinational proved to be inspirational. We think you're just sensational, Mame. Thank you so much. See you next season.